Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Kelvin. I am talking to Helena of Nervosa. Uh, how are you doing, Helena? I am great. I'm agreeing. Thank you for having me here. Okay, no problem. And we're going to talk about uh, the upcoming Nervosa album, Jailbreak, and we'll be out on September 29th. So everyone should check that out. I heard it. It's it rules. It's, um, yeah, it just keeps continuing the amazing legacy of Nervosa. Um, as far as you, Helena, this is going to be your first um, time on Nervosa's album. Um, mm -hmm. Can you tell us kind of like your background, like kind of like how you kind of like, you know, where you're from and kind of how you got into playing guitar? Mm -hmm. I am uh, from Greece. I'm born and uh, raised here and I am also based till now in uh, Greece. Uh, I started to play guitar by the age of uh, 13, 14, something like that. I started doing my first uh, guitar lessons. And later on, by the age of uh, 16, 17, I started my first school band. We were mostly playing like uh, covers of, uh, you know, very known songs. And we just have a demo of uh, two songs of uh, our own. Uh, and after I moved in this city that I am living now, uh, I became guitarist of the goth metal band called the Daffodil, which was my very first, like, uh, let's say, more professional uh, approach to music because it was the first band we I experienced like being inside the real studio and uh, doing uh, recording uh, everything like in a proper way doing uh, video clips going out for uh, doing gigs uh, so yeah this was my very first like professional let's say uh, experience uh, later on uh, when we finished from recording the full-length album with Daffodil, I composed and released one EP with uh, my own songs. It's like a solo project, but it's more like a studio project. It's not like a, an intention to create a band or something like this. And uh, yeah, exactly after this, Nervosa came. Okay. So when you were starting out... Um... What kind of bands did you look up to when you were kind of starting to play in your in your first bands when you were like in 16, uh, when you were 16? Uh, my very first uh, band that I was looking up to and I'm, I'm still do uh, was the Scorpions. It's like one of my favorite bands. I think it's my favorite. Let's say the truth. And uh, Scorpions, uh, Rainbow, Led Zeppelin. You know, pretty, very classic uh, stuff. Deep Purple, you know, bands like this. And later on, it got a little bit heavier with uh, uh, Iron Maiden, Metallica, you know, Motorhead, Judas Priest. You know, but the basics in the beginning when I started was like uh, the very classic bands. Okay. Um, I can, I, I kind of looked up your YouTube page. You, I saw you did like uh, some Megadeth covers. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I think you were doing like Marty Friedman era Megadeth. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is uh, Marty Friedman or or Dave Mustaine like guitarists you look up to as well? Yeah, Marty Friedman for sure. It's like a, an influence, but it came like much after uh, because in the beginning I was uh, studying uh, guitarists like uh, Michael Schenker, Richie Blackmore, Gary Moore. You know this kind and style of uh, guitarists. And later on, when my influences got a little bit, you know, heavier and I, I was searching uh, inside all the metal, you know, uh, genre, uh, I came across uh, Marty Friedman. And uh, for me, you know, it seemed like, a, you know, it sounded like difficult, but it sounded like different, very different, his way of approaching everything. And I think... Uh, this was one of the, maybe the, the most difficult uh, covers I ever did because of the technique, of course, but uh, also because of the whole approach, you know, to the, the solo. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm just kind of always in awe of like that Marty Friedman stuff with Megadeth, like Rust in Peace and Countdown to Extinction. Um, I don't know. I've, 
I, uh, I saw Megadeth a few weeks ago and I've been like reading about Megadeth nonstop. So I'm just kind of like nerding out on Megadeth like these last few weeks. But um, yeah, yeah, no, they, they're they're always to me. They're I mean, I think they even it's been described that they're more like a, a jazz influenced thrash metal band. So yes. But, uh, yes, 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 yes. I never seen them live. I wish uh I could, but uh, or I wish I can see them in the you know next years. But yeah, it's something that for sure I would like to do. Yeah, um, and then um, we can kind of talk about your involvement with Nervosa. I, I saw Nervosa live, and I'm here in the United States and in, in the Southwest, and Nervosa was doing a tour with uh, Destruction, and yeah. I think it was yeah. probably right, probably right before you joined. I believe it was Mia Wallace that was on bass and. Prika was on guitar and um mm -hmm. yeah so uh how did your involvement with Nervosa start uh it was right after the Perpetual Chaos release uh, that Prika felt that it was the right moment to finally put a second guitarist in the band and you know create a whole new album with two guitars and uh, she started searching, you know, through YouTube, Instagram, all the social medias. And she came across some of the uh, videos that uh, I've been uh, uploading either in YouTube or in my, you know, Facebook page, Instagram. And uh, she approached me from there and uh, she asked me if we can do like a, a call, a meeting call. I said, yes. So it was then that uh, she proposed me, you know, to... Uh, be inside the the band, but uh, yeah, everything started like right after the Perpetual Chaos release. Okay, so cool. It's very close to the to the tour with uh, Destruction that you mentioned. Okay, and mm -hmm. um, I guess at the time, did the, the was the decision already made that Prika would take over on vocals, or was that kind of still? Um, was there still some talk about maybe finding a different vocalist? No, by the time um, Diva announced that uh, she wants to leave uh, the band, uh, Prika told that, look, I cannot, you know, uh, I cannot change the voice of the band like one more time. I don't want to change, you know, the main vocalist like uh, one more time. And... Uh, so she was familiar with uh, vocals because she was always doing uh, backing vocals, even on albums, even on uh, live shows. So she said, I'm going to take on, I'm going to step into doing also the the main vocals. So it was something like, it was like a straight uh, decision. Okay. Yeah. That, I, was, it, was there some, uh, were you there for her when she kind of was um like making vocals like a full-time thing or was was someone there helping the band out with um with vocals or was she did she have her own like um i guess vocal coach mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh she after she you know took the decision to step on the as a main uh vocalist uh she started uh doing uh vocal lessons uh, in Brazil with uh, Mayara Puertas, that is amazing uh, singer in uh, Torture Squad band. And uh, they started working together and she helped with the techniques, exercises, you know, everything, how to handle the whole, uh, you know, uh, body to be in the right condition, you know, to, to be able to do uh, the recordings and be able, you know, to, uh, after to perform the whole, you know, set list to have the the stamina. Uh, so yeah, she was practicing, she was doing the lessons, and uh, yeah, then the right, she was like uh, ready uh, by the time we needed to do the recordings in the studio. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I heard the album, and um, yeah, it's really cool. I, I dig her voice. It um, reminds me of uh, Arch Enemy's previous vocalist, um, Angela. Uh, I think she was the vocalist before the current vocalist, but yeah, yeah. I dig it. It's really, it's really cool. Really, really sick. Um, and then, as far as writing the album, like, were you, were you involved with the writing, or was the album already 
like written most of the way or how much were you involved with the jailbreak record? No, in the beginning when uh, Prika conducted me, uh, the first thing that uh, she said to me after, you know, I accepted, uh, it was like, um, she told me that in the whole uh, previous years and in the previous album, she was writing uh, most of the musical parts uh, by herself. So she really needed like a second person to share everything, the work, the ideas, uh, she needed the second person to work, you know, together. And uh, so she asked, asked me from the beginning if I want to participate in the compositions, you know, of the of the band. And for me, that was like uh, something very important uh, because in all the musical projects and bands I am involved, I want to be like uh, there from uh, from zero, you know, to build everything up from the from the beginning. So giving me this option and uh, trusting uh, me and the ideas and everything was very important to me. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I've been listening to it a lot. And yeah, for everyone, there's 13 tracks. There's a couple guests. Um, mm -hmm. Gary Holt of uh, Exodus. Um, did you guys get to work with him in person or did he like have to, did he set, uh, submit his um, guitar work like electronically or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he sent uh, his uh, guitar solo uh, because uh, when we approached him, uh, it was uh, in the middle of, uh, he was very busy in the middle of uh, touring with uh, Exodus. So he had very specific time to, you know, make it and send it to us. So we didn't have the time, you know, to meet each other. It was all done like uh, by, you know, emails. It was all done uh, electronically. Okay. And mm -hmm. since you've been in Nervosa, uh, I'm, I'm guessing uh, you guys, I haven't heard any like touring in the U.S. yet, but um, I'm sure you've been in playing live a few times. Um, what's your experience like playing live with Nervosa now? Yeah, yeah. For now, I haven't been with Nervosa in the U USA, but uh, you know, in general, uh, playing live with the band is like uh, something I really, you know, enjoy. Even now uh, that it's some weeks that we did our last uh, show, it was here in Greece. Uh, it was like uh, in the beginning of September, and it feels like really far. I'm super excited that we have uh, a tour coming in uh, one week almost uh, in Mexico and we will be again, you know, on stage. It's something, you know, the 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 energy and the adrenaline that you have when you are uh, on stage and when you have, uh, when you're doing all the preparation about, uh, you know, getting on stage, something very, very unique. And I'm really enjoying, you know, every time. Yeah, no, I can't wait to see you guys live in the u.s i'm like i'm here in the in the southwest in the u.s so it's uh mm -hmm. yeah catching a, a really cool like show with a really really cool lineup is um yeah it, i don't really get that chance to so uh whenever yeah whenever you guys make announcements to come out in this area um i'll for sure check you guys out in new mexico i mean i'm in the arizona side so new mexico cool. or arizona yes um, yeah. Have you been in the U.S. Uh, or have you spent a lot of time in the U.S. since you're from Greece? No, I've I, I never been in the U.S. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was always like a dream to go in there and visit, you know, a lot of different states. But uh, I didn't have the chance till now. But uh, for sure, uh, now with the release of the new album, for sure we're going to come uh, for tour in there. Uh, because U.S. is always in the top of uh, the list, you know, touring uh, schedules. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to come there and visit and also play in the U.S. Yeah, my, where I'm from in this part of the U.S., it's it's very uh, spread out. So there's a lot of driving in between major cities. I think most of the, I think the East Coast, like uh, New York, Washington, D.C., all those areas, they're all like super close to one another. But where I'm from, it's like it's super spread out. So just be prepared okay. for like long drives if you're going through like the West or the Midwest. OK, OK, OK. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and then uh, I was just wondering, you know, you mentioned you're from Greece. Um, uh, what kind of bands in Greece are, are, would you say people should check out? I mean, honestly, I, I don't know too much about bands from the Greece area. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, like uh, some bands that are uh, here for, uh, you know, years and years and they are... Uh, uh, got out, uh, they become like uh, international, uh, internationally known bands. Like uh, we have Rotting Christ, that is uh, into black metal. Then they have like uh, something like 25, uh, 30 years of uh, career. Uh, Septic Flesh, which is again in uh, black metal, but all also with some uh, orchestric uh, stuff inside. Uh, we have Suicidal Angels, which are like super thrash. And they are doing great. We have, uh, you know, Firewind with uh, Gus G. There are a lot of bands that are here for years and years, but there are a lot of also upcoming bands, you know, from Greece. And that's something really positive to see a lot of different uh, bands and smaller bands, you know, jumping out here and there in something like very, very positive for the metal, Greek metal scene, but also, you know, for the scene in general. Okay, cool. So uh, now that you're part of Narosa, do you get to kind of stay in Greece, or uh, where did you? Was there talks of like having you, you and the other band members relocate? No, I am staying. I'm still staying in uh, Greece. Uh, also, uh, bassist uh, Elena is uh, from uh, Greece. She lives in Athens. Uh, Michaela, the drummer, is from uh, Sofia. So she's just you know, a few hours driving from uh, the city I'm living. And also Prika lately moved uh, into Greece. So, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's uh, now we don't have the problem of uh, distance. Everything we want to work on and all the photo shootings, video shootings, uh, you know, everything that we've been working, it's like uh, in person. The rehearsals, everything are done now by, you know, in person, nothing through through the internet. Okay. Wow, that's cool. That's that's good. Very yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's really convenient for you guys to do that. And um you know, it's more quick, you know, for kind of decisions and things that you need to solve like uh very fast. Uh, and it's also more, you know, natural. You you're getting to have uh, another kind of connection with uh, all the members of the band. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. so since you've been in Nervosa, is this kind of like, uh, I don't, uh, I'm not familiar with the band you mentioned Daffodil, but, um, uh, Nervosa, is this kind of like the first, um, like kind of like internationally known band that you've been a part of? Yeah. 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 Because, uh, all my previous bands and projects were mostly, you know, uh, in Greece, uh, they had some kind of uh, rec recognition abroad in Europe, uh, Latin America, you know, in different countries of the world. But we never toured. Uh, we never did, a, you know, like a big uh, tour outside. So, yeah, Nervosa is the first band, band that I'm playing, you know, in this level. Okay. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll, you know, I hope uh, yeah. for nothing but good things for you and, you know, playing with Nervosa. Honestly, I'm... Um, really uh excited to, and hopefully i could see you guys play live um i don't know this year or next year mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and, for uh, sure yeah everyone this check out jailbreak it's an amazing album thank you thank you so much